So it is estimated that 3.5 billion years ago, life existed on Earth. The first living organism came into action so many years back. So what are this life all about? Would you be able to live without the tree around us? Would you be able to live without that mango tree around our garden? Will you be able to live without the presence of the bacteria or any fungus that is useful for us? Can you live exactly without the presence of fishes? Yes, you may tell I am a vegetarian, I don't need any fish. I agreed with you. But those fishes are not only meant for eating, they are meant for maintaining the ecological balance. So, this chapter deals about those resources. Resources in one word are those substances that are useful for our livelihood, that are efficient for our living. So resources found in the nature ranges from that of the land to the sea to the mountains to the trees to the animals and even to the wind that is blowing around us. What is the ultimate source of energy for us? That is our solar energy. So the ultimate source of energy for all living organisms around us is about this solar energy. So the solar energy is that source from which every happenings is going on around us. Say, when I am talking that we are feeding upon the grass, the grass is also needing some source for making its own food. And that source is nothing but this solar energy around us. So exactly what are these resources we are talking about? Broadly categorizing, the resources are of three types. Lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. The resources are lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere. And when these three resources interact with each other, they form what is called as biosphere. They form what is called as biosphere. Lithosphere refers to land. Hydrosphere refers to water. And atmosphere refers to air. So when there is an conjugate interaction between land, water and air, there reforms the biosphere that is responsible for us to be living. Am I clear? The biosphere, if you break the term, then it is bios, meaning life. And sphere, meaning the extent. So the extent of life is all about biosphere. Now coming into the more detailed discussion of this, lithosphere considers all the land forms around us, say plain, say arid region, say plateau, say red soil place, whatever it is, this lithosphere will take into account all the land forms. Similarly, the hydrosphere will take into account the water. And to our great surprise, the entire earth is covered by 75% of water. And that is why whenever a satellite image of earth is being viewed from the space, the earth seems to be blue because there is 75% of the water covering that of the earth. So hydrosphere is all about water bodies, say sea, ocean, river, ponds, lakes, whatever it is. And next is atmosphere that is all about air. That is the air we are breathing, the air we are breathing out, the air that the plant is using for respiration. Everything comes under this atmosphere that is the air. Now what is this very connotation of biosphere? See, this is a landform and here there is water and here there are some trees. Here there are some fishes. So this is land, this is water, 
this is air these are all clouds so this will form all together the biosphere so when there is land there is water and there is air these three conjugately forms biosphere and similarly you can see the presence of living organisms or in one word life the fish the plants and everything so biosphere is all about the interaction of these three resources around us